Hey everybody. Game of Maxim here, and let's get straight to the point with Bubsy in Claws, Claws Encounter of the Furred Kind. Bubsy is one of those weird oddities back in the 90s. And yes, for the record, I am playing this. The Super Nintendo version. There is no difference between that and the Genesis version except for the sound quality. But anyway, Bubs is a bobcat. And all he's trying to do is save his world from the Woolies who came from the planet Rayon with their tyrannical queen named Polly and Aster. Yes, I'm not making this up. It gets better. The evil plot is they try to steal all the Earth's yarn. Opposite light is the plot is completely stupid. <laughs> but the reason why I call this the oddity of the 90s, I put it like this. Some people, some people, some people either like it or hate it. And who could blame them? Because me, I have no real problems with Bubsy per se, but Bubsy had problems. Items. Yarn balls, they're like Mario's coins, except in order to get an extra life, you either gotta collect t-shirts with a number on them, which you see a one or a two on them, a one or a two of them that would show that would tell you how many lives you're gonna get. But here's the crazy part. The other way to get an extra life. You have to collect 500 balls of yarn. In some stages, that will take a while unless you know exactly where all your bonus stages are, which is usually hidden in caves or tunnels. Is another thing with Bubsy. He dies in one hit. What I just grabbed is a continue. That's the only way to get a continue. Because if you lose all your lives, you don't have to continue. It's game over. You gotta start all over again. But here's the messed up part, even worse. Every three stages, in other words, after that, after every third or uh, every third stage in each world, you fight a boss, and after you defeat him, you'll get a password. Now you can just look on the internet and find all the passwords to each stage nowadays. But yeah, it is like I said, every enemy. Kill Bubsy in one hit. But most of the enemies he could jump on. But there are some he cannot jump on. For example, anything that's pointy, he'll pop like a balloon. He will die in water. Because he a cat. He hates water, so he dies. And drowns in it. Bubsy run pretty fast, but here's the problem with him running pretty, running the speed he does. It doesn't give you enough time to react. And the stages will get harder and harder as you go. Granted, there is a couple of items that will give you invulnerability and invisibility. The shadow T-shirt will get you, uh, will let you go through an enemy without getting hurt. While the flashing T-shirt is your know, basic star man, basically. Now, do I really recommend this game to people at all? 
Um, in my opinion, this game is fairly harmless. It'll frustrate you. Don't get me wrong. It will. Especially when it gets to the point you do something stupid like this. He takes fallen damage. And if you don't glide, he will die. So remember to glide. But if you want a silly platformer, give this game a try. Like I said, it's relatively harmless. It's not like it's unbeatable because I actually beat it in the 90s. So, like I said, this game has problems. Well, this was Game of Maxim. And we just got straight to the point. See you guys next time.